This is the brand new Ultra Short Throw Projector from Vava. This delivers an incredible 100 inch screen from just 15 centimeters away. It's absolutely gorgeous to look at and the performance is pretty good too. So let's take a closer look at this incredible projector. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So you may remember earlier on this year, I looked at the white version of this ultra short throw projector. And again, it was absolutely incredible. It sounded brilliant, it delivered an incredible picture and it was really good to look at. So the team at Valve have got back in touch with me and have sent me a review unit of this, the black version. And boy, it doesn't disappoint. And here it is. This is the Vava 4K Evolve, and it has evolved. There are some changes from the original, and I'll go through those in this video. But what does remain is the same gorgeous design. It is just so sleek and simple. I absolutely love it. On the side, there's two little controls, which will lower the legs if you do need to tilt the angle. And then on the back are all of the connections. And there's not many of them. Everything that you need is there, but it isn't overcomplicated. You know, sometimes less is more, and I think they've absolutely nailed it with the minimal design. What do you guys think? Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the black or the white? Let me know in the comment section. But the same light source is there, the 4K ultra short throw laser, and it delivers a brilliant image. You do have a very similar remote control, which unfortunately is not backlit, but it is very simple to use. Okay, let's now get that big screen up and get this projector turned on. Now I'm using an ALR screen, it's from VividStorm. I will link to the video I did about that screen if you're interested. Go through the usual process. This does have wireless capability, so connect it to your wireless network. You'll now be asked whether you want to project onto the wall or onto the screen. I'm obviously using the screen, and the first thing that you'll notice is the image is going over the edges of the screen. Now, obviously we don't want that to happen. So the first thing that we're going to do is to go into keystone correction, and we're going to drag that image to fit the screen. You don't need to move the projector at all. As long as you've put the projector fairly in the middle, you'll be able to just drag each of those dots. So it's an eight point dot matrix, which you can then drag in. If you want to use four points, you can, but you get more accuracy, obviously with the eight points. And it is that simple. It is absolutely straightforward, as is, electronic focus and here you go into electronic focus drag it to the left drag it to the right all from the remote control and then you get pin sharp focus in all four corners you can use this projector as a rear projection or as ceiling mounted that is one of the changes that they brought in this year by the way guys if you see a line moving up through the screen you can just see it very slowly here that is just the camera frequency it's not obviously visible on the projector Okay, so from the main home screen, you've got your sources on the left-hand side, the App Store, File Manager, and Multi-Screen. The App Store, this unfortunately is AppToy TV, which I'm not a great fan of. If I was you, I would just use a plug-in device like a Fire Stick or something like an Apple TV. It does work. I've got YouTube working on it, um, but it's just not a very pleasant experience. And if you're spending all this money on this great great gear then you may as well just have a plug-in device there are some other things you can do like screen sharing for instance and again that's very simple to do one thing that i like is the simpleness of the home screen and obviously all of the settings they really are very easy to operate i've already shown you how you can get the screen and the display fitting the screen and changing the focus and here are some of the other settings that you can go into obviously you can look for software updates and just check that from time to time you can then go in and choose the time zone change all of that information but it's in the image settings where you can go in and then change the brightness and also the different modes and another great feature is that you can now which you couldn't do previously have a boot source so now you can boot it straight into a source like an HDMI one for instance so I've got my Apple TV in there and that's what I'm going to be doing the sound system this is a Harman Kardon speaker and I'm going to give you a demonstration of how good that that speaker is in just a little while but you're not restricted just to that speaker you can turn it off completely or you can have it set up with HDMI arc so that you can have a soundbar or some other sound system Another feature which is new is that you don't actually have to have the screen on. If you want the sound system just playing music, for instance, then you can turn the screen off. And as I turn it back on now, you'll see that it's going to boot into the source that I had it on, which was HDMI 1 and into my Apple TV. 
Okay, so you're probably thinking, how is the picture quality? Well, it's incredible. Very similar to the earlier model. And this is in daylight. As you can see, my room is, this is around about lunchtime. And it is absolutely incredible. The type of image that it delivers. We'll just spin around. Obviously, it's light, but I've got one window there which is closed. The blinds closed, but this window here is wide open. You can see all the light coming through. And if I spin back round then you can see it's an absolute beautiful picture. So this thing can really operate 24 hours a day. Yes, obviously, it's going to get better the darker it gets, and I'll show you that next. But you can definitely watch this thing perfectly. As you can see, the brightness and the vividness of those colors are absolutely stunning and first class. So there are a couple of things that really help. Having an ultra short throw projector means that there's less loss of light because it's obviously closer to the screen and that screen is also an ALR screen. So it's an ambient light rejecting screen, which makes a big difference. Now I'm gonna zoom in on this image and I think most of you will agree it is absolute quality considering this is the middle of the day. Now it is starting to get a little bit darker, but I wanted just to show you that this is just six inches from the screen. It really is incredible. And that screen is 100 inches. So it doesn't need that much space. And from front to back, from the front of the screen to the back of the projector, it's 20 inches in total. So again, not too bad. Now, as this is a laser light source, it has got a protection measure built in. So if you do get anyone looking into the light, then it will immediately turn off the source and then it will give a little warning on the screen saying do not stare into the beam press any button on the remote control and then it will reset itself okay so i've got my seat in place and it's now dark and this is the type of incredible image that it will produce let's have a look at that sound now as well so in order to show you the sound, I thought it would be a good idea just to play a video which I did a couple of days ago about the new HomePod Mini. How good is this picture, by the way? Remember, guys, this is a 100-inch screen that you're looking at now from just six inches. It's incredible. It's so absolutely perfect. I'm absolutely blown away with it. Anyway, let's get on to the sound test and let me know what your thoughts are. Okay, the first one that we're going to play is the Apple HomePod Mini. Now, I do hope that came across as good as it is in reality. It really is a room filling sound. It is very, very impressive indeed. One of the best that we've certainly heard on a projector. So you would expect that to be pretty good because it is a 60 watt speaker, which is delivering some punch. The one little gripe that I have got is that I would still love to be able to use that soundbar within the projector as the center speaker in a 5.1 or a 7.1 surround sound system. That would just make this perfect. But again, unfortunately, we've not got that. So if you are going to be going the full Monty with a sound system, well, you just need to turn the soundbar off. And I guess you want to reposition your center channel somewhere so guys let me know what your thoughts were with the sound what's your thoughts on the picture quality it is bright and vivid it handles motion really well there is no gripes at all i'm absolutely blown away and it's been a while since i had one of these ultra short throw protectors but boy it is making me think that i definitely need to go and get one because i've been looking at some really big tvs recently and some really good quality tvs but this just literally knocks them out of the park it is absolutely amazing the other thing with this is that it is 3D now as well. So if you are into 3D movies, well, this does support 3D. So that, again, is something which is a good thing going for it. I'm not a great fan of the software that's built into it, the home, you know, using that Aptoid system. I think you're far better off just putting your own system involved. As you can see now, the room is really bright and it's still giving an incredibly good, incredibly amazing. I just absolutely love it, the image that this thing just throws out. It is absolutely mind-blowing. So my friends, I hope that you found that this projector is pretty impressive. I just wanted to run through some of those stats so that you've got those 
and you've got any information anything that I've missed off please do feel free just to send me a message ask a question in the comments okay so this display type is a DLP the light source as I've said before is laser and it has a throw ratio of 0.233 inches a maximum recommended screen size of 150 inches any more than that and you will start to lose some detail and it has a maximum resolution of up to 4k the brightness as I've demonstrated to you is a good bright projector 2500 lumens and this does support HDR 10 and my tests with HDR were very very good indeed couldn't fault it the audio we covered that the 60 watt Harman Kardon speaker it does have Bluetooth in and out so you can connect it to another speaker and you can connect your phone to this projector via Bluetooth You've also got the support for Dolby Audio and DTS HD, which is a nice touch. There's three HDMI, one of which has audio return channel, so therefore if you are going to be using a soundbar, you can output to that. And with the audio, you have also got optical output and 3.5mm in and out, and there's also a USB. At the time of doing this video, the price of this projector was £2,799. That may or may not go up or down. I'll leave the very latest link in the description. Certainly, it's worth your while checking around the Black Friday time because you never know when this might go on offer. So, my friends, that's it for this video. The Ultra Short Throw Projector from Vava. It's an absolute stunner. It is just beautiful, both looking at it and also watching it. You know, for the money, I think that it is an absolute bargain, giving you 100-inch screen. Wow, just an absolute stunner. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Thank you again for watching this video. If it has been useful, please just give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, then hit that red button. And I look forward to seeing you on the next.